Um, startup employees are more risk than the founder. Well, if you have a founder that takes less risk than your startup employees, you're a startup that's, I mean, these, this is that's practically criminal. You know, I see, I see these startups, I see these founders who take VC money and they pay themselves $400,000 salaries. It's disgusting. It's really, it's really disgusting. My salary comma is $78,000. Um, and that's the highest it ever was, was 80. Uh, you, you can't do that. You can't, if, if you as a founder are taking less risk than your startup employees, uh, there's something seriously wrong with your company. As a, as a startup employee, you should definitely have uh, have less risk than a founder. You should be you should be paid a higher salary. So again, a lot of startups scam with this, right? They'll put restrictions on employee equity, and you know a lot of times employees don't even really know about this. So at comments the other way around, uh, the restrictions are on transfer of my equity, not transfer of any employee equity. Um, so yeah, if you're at a startup where the founders are taking less risk than the employees, you're you're they're scammers. Uh, a lot of the VCs are scammers too. Remember that VCs don't actually uh, produce any value. Um, it's not their money that they're investing. The VCs just scam LPs. And the LPs a lot of times don't care, like the Louisiana Pension Fund. You know, again, the Louisiana Pension Fund isn't being managed by the cops and firefighters who it'll pay out. Uh, the Louisiana Pension Fund is, of course, being managed by um, corrupt politicians uh, who I'm sure line their pockets when the pension fund goes up. And when the pension fund goes down, oh, hey, hey, you fought fires in, uh, in the suburbs for 30 years, but no, sorry, they took your pension fund and they invested it in WeWork. I'm, I'm sorry. What would you ask founders what their take-home salary is? Uh, I think founders should be paid the lowest of any employee at the startup. Um, if you're going to found a company and you're not doing it uh, and, and you're not looking for the upside later on, of course, the upside to founders is they do get a much larger share of the equity of the company. Um, so the, the upside on, on that side is, is, is much larger, right? But the risk is much larger, right? You want higher upside, you take higher risk, right? When we do uh, comp negotiations, you get a choice. You get a choice between, well, like usually it's three tiers. You want like more salary or you want, you want salary equity or you want salary equity and you can choose. So what's the highest the average founder should make at an un... Well, yeah, I mean, in a non-profitable company, you shouldn't be paying above, uh, you should actually probably be paying below market rate. Um, well, no, I mean, look look right now, you're seeing with all of these large companies, you're seeing uh, you're seeing them all get bailed out by the government when they just spent the last two years doing stock buybacks and making their executives rich, right? So where's that money coming back from the executives into the business? Now, of course, that doesn't exist, right? Um, yeah, I mean, how, how are stock, how is this, how is this legal? Uh, how are we letting, uh, how do we as a country let this happen? What would I be doing if comma doesn't work? I have money. Uh, I don't really spend money on anything. So if you don't really spend money on anything, you have money. It's cool. No hack the box. Uh, I do get paid the least in comma, yeah. You should spend on financial advisors and lawyers and do an IPO. Fuck that. So if you want to take a company public, um, so an IPO um, is, uh, is done through investment banks. Usually the way that you do an IPO is you get an investment bank to agree to purchase a certain amount of your shares. I never want those kind of people, the investment bank kind of people, anywhere near any company I have a stake in. Uh, now you have some other options. You could do DPOs, but if you still want to get listed on a major exchange, you're going to have to do the same, uh, the same S1 rigmarole. Uh, you're giving basically uh, control of your company up and you, you may not want to do that. Um, so if you do want to go public, uh, for there to be a liquidity event. There's a bunch of cleaner ways to do it, I think. And I think they're going to become more obvious. Sure, we had the 2017 crypto ICO scam phase, but it kind of let a genie out of the bottle that isn't going to be put back in. I think that it's going to become much cheaper for companies to effectively sell their shares to the public. And you see things trending this way. You see like, you see reggae, you see the Jobs Act. And yeah, like ideally, I mean, my dream, uh, you know, I don't want to violate any laws, but my dream would just be to turn every share of common into a token, into an ERC-20 token, and then it can trade on uh, whatever exchanges. If you don't think 78K is a lot, then you're privileged. So 78K is uh, less than anybody else at the company gets paid. Our starting salaries are 80. Anti-CEO cookbook. All right, just 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 because we've been been on a rant. We're gonna take a look. Oh, it's a TED talk. Ugh. 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 I'm disgusted already. Anti-CEO playbook that provide that prioritizes people over profits. N no. 
No, profits are a good thing. Profits, if you have a company that's profitable, the way that you make a company profitable is you provide a good or a service to other people voluntarily. A profitable company is good. An unprofitable company is bad. When you have a company that takes investment money and then pays the founders $400,000 salaries, that's bad. Because that's not benefiting anybody. That's just benefiting people for being connected. What do you mean by people should come over profits? Right? Whenever I see arguments like that, I see I see the same thing on the other side, right? I say, oh, well, we need to, you know, oh, everybody needs a living wage. Well, I mean, it says who, right? Everybody should be paid fairly for the value they can provide and create. But that's like what the, you know, doesn't that like make obvious sense? Um, don't you deserve more than your employees just because you're so productive? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, how productive am I? But I do have more equity than, 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 uh, than everyone who works at Comma. I have the most equity first in, you know, you get, you get more equity than everybody else. But, it, you know, on the flip side of that, I, you take the most risk, right? I didn't learn this until really kind of it was too late. But um, what you're really giving the VCs uh, in exchange for the money is social capital. VC is just a way of, of, of turning social capital into dollars. I don't know, I mean, yeah, given the alternatives, it might be a decent way to, to, to fund uh, companies, but it's, uh, it's, it's uh, you, seeing the results that it's produced, especially recently, uh, I think we can find better ways. Mm -hmm. You can't buy Kama stock. Kama is a private company uh, and we're not selling any. Um, if I'm not rich, would I still pay myself $78,000? Yeah. I don't, I mean, I don't spend more than $78,000 a year. I'm, I'm, that's, that's about, that's about break even for me. Um, and I'm spending money on things that, like, I have to pay for this apartment. I don't really have to pay for this apartment. No, equity, so equity can matter in a bunch of ways without a company going public. Um, so you can pay dividends. Uh, dividends are an option. Um, to be confused with stock buybacks. Very different. Uh, you can potentially uh, sell your equity on a, on a private market. You, you, can, uh, you can go public or you can get acquired. Um, is there a reason I... Why would I want to be CEO? What do you think CEOs do? Uh, I wouldn't live in a cardboard box, but I don't know. I mean... Uh, it'd kind of be nice to live with roommates again. Mm -hmm. I like living with roommates for the most part. I got this because I wanted to focus on, on comma being profitable. And uh, yeah, I moved here about 10 months ago and we had our first profitable quarter.